what's going on Samurais, welcome to today's video. I am Sam, Sam I am, and today I want to talk to you guys about wedding videographers and wedding photographers losing their clients footage, which I really can't understand. But before we do that, if you're brand new around here, make sure you go down and click that big red subscribe button. We would love to have you as part of the familia. Also make sure to follow me on all my social media, at Sam Angelo to stay up to date with everything I'm doing. All right, guys, let's dive in. And I do apologize, I'm a little bit sick, so if my voice doesn't sound right today, uh, just bear with me, all right? But we're gonna try to get through this. So, let's talk about this. How does videographers and photographers that are shooting people's wedding lose their clients' footage? Because it doesn't make much sense to me. That is like the holy grail. That is like the one thing you don't want to do when you're in this business is lose their footage at the end of the wedding. And I understand things happen, but you need to make sure that you set up a game plan to prevent that from happening. You need to have, you know, barriers in place so you cannot lose everything. Um, and let's talk about those barriers. So there's two things. One, when you're actually producing the wedding, having barriers set in. So like, instead of shooting with one camera, you shoot with two cameras. Instead of shooting with uh, a camera that has one SD card slot, you shoot with a camera that has two SD card slots and you make them shoot uh, simultaneously. So you have two copies of that footage at the end of the day. Now, yes, if this camera goes down and corrupts both of those cards, guess what? This camera with your second shooter picked up that same footage or close to that same footage. So you now have a backup and a redundant system. Now, I like to take that one step further and I'll even put up a third camera, like one of these little cheap GoPros somewhere just videotaping. That way, if both of those cameras fail, there's still something to give the client at the end of the day. And if I'm doing a photography shoot, again, I will still put a third camera up and I'll just put it on like a time lapse mode. So let's go click, 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 taking pictures all night long. That way, there's at least a record and a recording to give back to the bride. The next thing, the media. I heard more and more people when I was reading these articles and hearing the news that they had two to three to four weddings on SD cards. Why? Why would you do that? These things are so cheap. Go buy extra SD cards. Charge enough money to buy extra SD cards. When I shoot a wedding, every part of that wedding, so the cinematic shots of like the dress and the rings that's one sd card the wedding prep the bride getting ready the groom getting ready that's another sd card the the ceremony that's another sd card the reception with all the formal dancing that's another sd card the just fun dancing that's another sd card they're cheap they're like eight to twelve bucks depending on the ones you buy i mean i use the sandus ultras they're they're very 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 cheap i mean Especially if you buy them in like bulk, they're they're dirt cheap to use. Why would you shoot multiple weddings on cards? And another thing, I don't reuse cards. And if you guys are interested in how I store all my footage and all that process, I'm gonna put a link to that video that I made in the description below. But I never reuse these. These are my first line of backup. Like like I said, my camera shoots two copies of them. And if I have a camera I'm using that doesn't shoot two copies, the second I get back to my studio, I put in a duplicator, boom, I make another copy. I keep one copy at the studio. The other copy I take with me and I keep take it off site to my house. So if my studio burns out, my, I lose my computer, I lose my server at my studio, guess what? I still have the raw footage. I haven't lost anything because I keep it at my house in a safe where it cannot get burnt up if my whole studio goes on and if my house goes down guess what i still have a backup and during the wedding this one goes in my pocket the other one goes in the glove box of my car so if they steal my car i'm not out of the footage if they steal me well that's a little more complex but i still haven't lost the footage technically because it's still in my car so there are ways backups of backups of backups then when I have it in here and I'm working on my projects, guess what? I buy these in bulk. These are little cheap 
hard drives. These are, I think, two. Some are two, some are four. But they're like 54 bucks on sale. They're very, very, very cheap to buy. I have literally thousands of these laying around my studio. Every project gets a hard drive. That hard drive backs up my footage. So now that footage is saved on my computer. It's saved on my hard drive. It's saved on my server. And my server saves to an off-site server. So that footage is backed up, backed up, backed up, backed up, backed up. So there's no way I could possibly... Well, I guess there is a way if like, there's a total nuclear explosion and it takes out my whole building. But, you know, I think we'd have bigger problems than that. Lose my client's footage. Everything is backed up up multiple times so if a camera goes down i'm safe because i had multiple cameras if an sd card corrupts i'm safe because i had multiple sd cards if i have a fire at my studio i'm safe because i have the footage here and i have this footage off site if a hard drive fails i'm safe because it's on my computer if my computer fails i'm safe because it's on my hard drive if my computer and my hard drive fail i'm safe because it's on my server that is what you need to do. You need to be a professional if you want to be in the professional wedding industry business. It is not just about going out and buying yourself a cool looking camera and calling yourself a photographer. It's about having the business knowledge to run your business and acting professional and having barriers and having a plan in place that's why before you ever go work for a client you should go and this is my advice to you you don't have to do this go talk to a lawyer and go talk to an insurance agent and talk to the underwriter because they are going to tell you what your risk for exposure is and how to protect yourself from it you need to do that that way you build a system that protects you and make sure you deliver to your client what you promised and that's exactly where my storage system came up my insurance agents my uh, uh, the underwriter said you know you need a redundant system to keep that information safe all right guys so that is my little rant today if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below if you guys are interested in the SD cards I'm using or the hard drives I'm using or the video about storage, I will put a link to all that in the description below. And until next time, guys, remember, Samurais, to please dream big, think bigger, and always be you. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.